Now, Pope Francis has appealed for religious unity to counter extremism and intolerance during his visit to the Muslim-majority nation of Indonesia. Pope Francis is in fact the first pontiff to visit Indonesia in the last 35 years. The Pope is on a 12-day journey across Southeast Asia. This is a region where Christians are a small minority. The Pope Francis has said that the Catholic Church will try and increase its efforts towards inter-religious dialogue in the hope of helping to bring down extremism. In order to foster a peaceful and fruitful harmony that ensures peace and unites efforts to remove the imbalances and suffering that still persist in some areas of the country, the Catholic Church desires to increase interreligious dialogue. In this way, prejudices can be eliminated and a climate of mutual respect and trust can grow. This is indispensable for meeting common challenges, including that of countering extremism and intolerance, which through the distortion of religion, attempt to impose their views by using deception and violence. The Pope spoke on countering extremism. He praised Indonesian families for choosing children or pets. What triggers acute conflicts and how is this resolved? With the law of death, that is by limiting births, limiting the greatest wealth a country has, which is births. And your country, on the other hand, has families with three, four or five children that keep moving forward. And this is reflected in the age levels of the country. Pope Francis met the outgoing President Joko Widodo and other Indonesian authorities at the presidential palace. The cannons in fact boomed as Francis joined Widodo on veranda of the palace along with President-elect Prabowo Subianto. A marching band, stiff-legged troops and children in traditional Indonesian dress welcomed the pontiff. Indonesia deeply appreciates and respects the Vatican's consistent calls for peace in Palestine and its support for the two-state solution, because war benefits no one. War only brings suffering and misery to the ordinary people. Earlier in the day, he greeted the Catholic priests, nuns and seminarians at Jakarta's main cathedral. Meanwhile, Popwins gathered in front of the Vatican Embassy in Jakarta demanded that Pope Francis should speak up against the military operations in Indonesia's Papua province. Holding up posters with the Pope's face and prayers written on placards, they demanded that Pope Francis should immediately intervene against the alleged human rights abuses by the Indonesian authorities in Papua. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.